For today's science experiment, I'm going to explore the safety of power lines. To start off, I'm going to show you a little experiment you can do in your home microwave. This is an ordinary incandescent bulb. This is a glass. I'm going to put the bulb into the glass and put a little bit of water. can see the bulb is actually floating on the water. The metal ends down inside. This is for safety because metal sparks in microwaves. So we've covered the metal part with the water. Now we're going to microwave this. What's going to happen in here is going to simulate what you're going to see outside later. Isn't that cool? The light bulb is actually picking up the radiation from the microwave and it's igniting the filaments inside the bulb and causing it to light up. Okay, enough of that. On to the power lines. This is going to be my first whispering video just because. Uh, it's nighttime, and we're going to go prove or disprove that the high voltage lines behind our house can light up a fluorescent bulb. This will be interesting. So here it is. This is not. This is not a trick effect. This is actually the, the glowing from the power lines. It's where it tends to glow most, right? Where I grab it. Freaky, huh? This is not a special effects trick. If I put my hand over both ends, it shorts out. Over one end, it lights up. See the power lines? And then here's my mom holding the fluorescent tube. It's pretty cool, huh? It just lights up like a lightsaber. Now consider carefully what you've just seen in the microwave oven and the power lines right next to my house. Am I being microwaved like the food in my oven? Maybe I don't want to know. Nah, I think they're safe. The bulb doesn't light up anywhere near my house. It lights up at the very edge of my yard. So I think they chose for the building codes probably a safe distance, but there's really no way to know for sure. What isn't enough to light up the light bulb could be over years enough to cause cancer. I think it's a good thing I drink a lot of antioxidant white tea.